G'day, in today's video I'm upgrading this Dell with this Crucial MX 240 gig or 250 gig SSD. This particular model is a Dell Inspiron 3585, which you can't quite see under the scratch stickers there. But these are the exact steps you will require to do to upgrade them. Granted, off screen I've already cloned the existing hard drive to this using a copy of a Cronus or a Cronus True Image, and also utilizing a 2.5 inch drive enclosure, which looks something like that. To begin with, to get in there, we're gonna to have to take out all the screws that we can see. That one here is a smaller screw, where the rest of them seem to be the same length. The two back ones here are being rather stubborn don't want to come out near the hinge. That one's also being stubborn. That one's removed. This one's removed. That one's removed. Take out the DVD drive. To find we have two more screws down here. These ones are different to the rest. And I think I've got the vast majority of them out. So from here, I'm going to grab an edge and just pull it up. That is just separated for me. Granted, yours mightn't separate this easy. There we go. And we're off. And looking inside, we have the battery here, which I will connect, disconnect before I change the hard drive over. And while in here, I also cover how to replace your RAM. I'm going to use a pair of tweezers just to lift up this tape, like so. From there, I should be able to walk or pull this back. There we go. That's disconnected. What I'm going to want to replace is the hard drive over here. But while we're looking here, I'll show you how to replace the RAM. So right now we have two sticks of 4 gig of DDR4. These two tabs here pull one forward, one towards me, and then it sits up. Pulls out from there. So what we got, yeah, four gig, running at 2666. Do take note of this notch here. This notch corresponds with over here. If I slide that in, then push down, that clicks it into position from there. Very much the same over here. Two tabs out, can be replaced, put in, push down. You could potentially also replace your Wi-Fi card, which is down here. Or you could also add potentially an NVMe SSD up here. Now we have all this, those two, take out these two as well. Now I'm going to simply lift that up and out. This one in here, the right way. And this metal is very thin and flimsy. Now I'm right to put those screws back in. Reinstall. Lining it up under the connection there. Something flat to actually push it in. There we go. Line it up. Now it's a matter of putting these screws back in once more.
Once I've got the hard drive back into place, from there I can reconnect the battery. Should just be line it up and pull it in. Be careful that the pin's all sticking up and it's evenly spaced. If you do push it across, you may bend a pin. So do be cautious with that. Next up, this side. One, two, three. Should basically click and crunch back into its original position. And then process of putting those screws back in. Right, I'll leave that one for now. The two small silver ones go under the disk drive. Disk drive back in. Put that my mistake. Small little screw goes over here. Doesn't help that this one's missing particular screws. Just a few. I'm going to salvage some more out of another machine in a minute. But that's pretty much how to replace the RAM or hard drive in a Dell 35. 30, 85. Hope this helps and I'll see you guys later. Bye.